With an incredibly simple to use application, a fully encrypted data flow, the ability to not only control your computer or your mobile devices remotely, but also transfer files in both directions, Supremo Remote Desktop is a great solution for remote support in any remote working, and today we're going to be checking it out. So full disclosure, before we get started though, the video is sponsored by Supremo and they've asked me to showcase the software to you guys. So when it comes to remote support or working away from your normal workspace, it can be a pain at not having all of your usual files or setup. Or for me in particular, if I'm working away on the laptop, there's certain things I can't do because my laptop isn't powerful enough. But thankfully, Supremo solves all of these issues. Now, the whole process is incredibly straightforward. And we start by downloading the Supremo application. You can download it for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. So whatever platform you use, they've got you covered. Now, once downloaded, you simply run it on your computer or phone and you choose whether you want to manually run it or have it automatically launch when booting up the computer. There's no configuration and no registration required. Now, once you open up the application, you can see we get a user ID and a password over on the left hand side. And these are the credentials that we need to log into the computer and access it remotely. So if I head over to my laptop and use the connect to option over on the right hand side, first I input my computer's ID. Then after pressing connect, I just need to enter the password and that's literally it. You can see I now have remote access to my computer on the laptop and I can use it as if I was using the PC itself. We can have the remote view full screen, so it's almost as if we're using the computer and we've got additional options at the top with plenty of useful features. Now under file manage, you can see I've got access to both computers drives. I can freely transfer any files between the two computers and also choose the location that the files go to. File transfer is also allowed via drag and drop or copy and paste. Now for me, this is a great feature as when I'm working away from home, there's always something that I've forgotten to transfer onto the laptop and I can now fetch my files in seconds. Next, we've got a chat feature, and I guess this is useful if you're connecting to someone else's computer to assist with some work or solve a problem, and it gives the PC user and the remote user a means of text communication. Next up, we've got the control tab where you can send useful commands like Alt and Tab or Control Alt Delete to the computer that you're accessing. And this is really just for people that are accessing remotely without a keyboard. As you can see on my laptop, if I just use the keyboard shortcuts on the laptop itself, they all work as they should with the remote PC. Now we've got the ability to send the clipboard. So if I've copied an important web page or something that I need on the laptop, I can then quickly input that into the remote PC. And then we've got other useful tools like remote reboot, reboot into safe mode, or even switch sides with partner if I want them to be able to control my device. Now we've got the full screen button to give us a nice full screen view of the desktop. My favorite feature is the multi displays. My home computer has got three different displays and in other remote desktop applications, I've had issues where I'll open something up, but it opens up on a different display that I can't see. With Supremo though, I can just click on the display option to toggle between all three of my displays. Now we've also got further display options at where we can take a screenshot. We can select the view mode and I tend to use the scaled view. You can select a video codec between the legacy one for older CPUs and then H.264 for most recent ones. You can select video quality and of course, I've always had this set to high, but if you're in a location with a poor internet connection, then it could be useful to reduce this. You can toggle the remote wallpaper on or off, manually select a monitor. We can look at all of the monitors at once. And finally, we can select a custom resolution to our preference. Now the last option is going to disconnect and this of course is just going to end the session. Now my main use for remote access with Supremo has been to move my files between the computer and my laptop when I'm away, as well as doing any heavy video editing or visual effects that I need while I'm working away on my laptop. My laptop just doesn't have the power for these tasks, but now I can remotely connect to my home PC, complete the work as if I was working on the home PC, and then when I finished, I can export the file, transfer it over to my laptop and I'm done. Now, as I said at the start, it also supports Android and iOS. So if you're out and about and there's something very urgent that needs to be done, you can still do it remotely using your phone. Now, of course, another great use is gonna be for technical assistance, whether that be with work staff or customers. And the fact that everything is so easy to set up means it's not gonna be an issue for anyone, even if they've got no technical knowledge at all. 
or using the remote desktop, you can be rest assured that everything is safe thanks to the encrypted data flow and randomly generated passwords on each session. So whether you're using Supremo to remotely work from another location or using it as a remote access to assist a customer, you're not going to have any issues with safety. Another great thing about Supremo is it's free for non-professional and non-continuous use. And if it's for commercial use, then you're going to have to pay for simultaneous connections. But thankfully, they've also got a flexible pricing plan. And this allows you to select the amount of connections that your business needs. Now, overall, I think it's a great bit of software. And I've been really impressed with how versatile it is, yet still being very simple to use. If you've got any needs for remote access, then I highly recommend checking it out. And of course, I've placed the links down in the description below. Now, that's pretty much it from me today. But of course, if you've got any comments or any questions, then just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.